everyone. Um, just a quick update on Tina's garden. Um, I've got a distraction again. Haven't I? I've got a distraction. Let me show you. Decided that Badger's perch is now his perch. And he keeps pinching it, don't you? Badger's not very pleased. That's his perch. He normally stands on there. Hey. Let's keep him trying. Oops. Let's keep trying to paw my arm. The one with the camera in. So now I've got to use one arm to stroke him and the other <laughs> to hold the camera. Anyway, there's not been no videos for the last couple of days or more. It's done nothing but rain and quite cold, especially at night. It's gone down to three again last night. We had a couple of nights at six um, and quite a few nights um, colder than six. But last night it was three. So I don't know my poor plants so I'll just show you what's been going off if I can just get my hand back from Flinny because he doesn't want me to stop stroking him the radishes are still doing quite well I'm going to start pulling them all out my mum says that she like them long as they're small so they all go into my mum's Jo says she's not very keen on them so I won't be giving them to Jo so they're coming out and in the place is going lettuce we have lettuce cut and come again so this will just ke keep getting chopped with the scissors and coming again until it won't come anymore and underneath um, I've got a pot the uh, another trough like this that I've just put seeds in if you come down here this is another trough of lettuce um, I've got another one I've just filled up with soil um to put some seeds in so i've got continual continual lettuce all year round and if we have a nosy in here if i don't get dripped on i'm getting all wet these are my cuttings from last year they've got my fuchsias they've got flowers on them um so they're all doing well i think that one at the back is a jasmine um my grapevine is doing well might have to come out of here in a bit yep getting a bit tall I'm coming out of here, I'm getting wet. This area is normally empty because this is where the barbecue is and the cupboards that we don't use but this was in when we, we come. You're supposed to put all your barbecue stuff in there but these are all my dahlias. I've just moved them uh, and there's one underneath that chair and the chair is there to stop the dogs interfering with them. Um, My little buddlier is doing all right. I want to try and get some uh, feed in there. This is my potting area um, because I haven't got room in the tunnels to pot up. So if we ever get any sun again, uh, I sit out here potting. This is why everywhere is a bit of a mess, but uh, it'll soon clear up. Right, can you see what's changed? The spring onions and the garlic have now not covered up. The, the cover has been moved to here and plastic put over it because it was that like Enviro mesh. And all my squash are in there and they're doing fine. So uh, we have my beetroot in, more spring onions in. And then I've got my pots of flowers down that that side got lilies some lilies at the back you can't quite see and if you can see at the back I've got fleece well I've put some new clematis in and I've put um, uh, pumpkin munchkin pumpkin in down there to climb up the wire at the back and it's got about three layers of fleece on it and this morning when I checked it the top layer of fleece was all wet and cold but the, layer, the two layers underneath was nice and dry and warm and the munchkin pumpkin's been out in all this rain and been perfectly fine. So hopefully it will be setting some roots, nice roots down and when the weather's nice enough for me to take the fleece off um, it can get away. You can see the difference in the different varieties. Um, this one is 
Bolt Hardy. Cheek Chiggle something or other, that one. Uh, and the other one is... Oh, that's the same. Uh, that's an F1. And then I've got another variety. And it's darker, if you can see. Up, up there. The lettuce underneath here is doing fine, even though we keep cutting it. And all the squashes and courgettes and things at the back um, are doing fine, even though the weather's been bad. And they're not overly protected, but they don't seem to be uh, affected. They're not overly growing, but they're not um, dying off, so that's fine. So, in my coal frames, more dahlias. Um, and this one I showed you that I found, I don't know what it is yet, but it's coming up. Um, I've got an old hanging basket from last year and that fuchsia is coming back. So I'm going to get that put in a pot later on. Second coal frame, more dahlias. Yeah, I think all dahlias, they're doing nice. They've all got to be potted up into big pots. I've got loads of massive pots for them to go in for the summer. On this side, my lady die fuchsia, uh, cl clematis, not fuchsia, is uh, doing fine. That's suddenly come. All my gladioli are coming up. They're looking nice. My tree lilies, they'll soon want the supports putting in. Uh, I normally put one in front of that set of lilies and another one in front of this set and it kind of stops them all falling forward so that's another job if uh, we get a nice weekend what are you doing did i leave the gate open come on back down go on back up back back good girl don't go in the flowers silly mum look prop the gate open to take the pots out and who comes bothering mummy but little fray fray hey Everywhere's covered in mud and things that I'm moving about. So uh, we'll go in the number two tunnel uh, with the auto pot system in and have a look. It's a bit chock a block at the minute because I can't get much out because of all this weather. So, because there's quite a few things in there that's going to be outdoors when we ever get any decent weather. So let's go in tunnel two. Right. This is 42 day tomato and it's got lots of flowers on it, if you can see, I can get in, oh, have to excuse the wobbliness, they're looking nice, and if we turn around, you can see down the tunnel, that's uh, one side, and if we, if I just stand up a bit, ugh. And look down on things. There's three tomatoes in pots on that side. They're going outside eventually. And that pot will be going outside because that's a fuchsia. And then I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five more all the way down there going outside. So this path I'll be able to just walk up. All these are going outside, except for the tumbling toms, which will be coming down onto this bracket. And I'll be having one there and one there, so I can walk in easier without having to duck. But uh, the hanging baskets are looking quite nice. This is another 42-day tomato plant. And it's doing really well. It's got lots of uh, flowers on it. And then all the rest in this row's doing quite well. We've got the odd um, dahlia in here. Sorry, still alive. We've got two dahlias in here. Um, a rogue tomato. Let me just get a bit closer. This one there. That tomato 
was in the bag of compost. We could put some flowers in and it was a clean tray so it's not wasn't contaminated from last year and uh, only one of the flower seeds come up I put in and a tomato so it was either in the flower pack of flower seeds or in the compost I suspect it was in the compost so we're going to see what it is so we've let it grow and uh, so it's mystery tomato plant the fountain or fountain whichever way you want to say it uh, tomato plants are doing fine I think they're not overly happy with this cold but it's not killing them but it is slowing them down and making them wilt a little bit in the morning and not liking it um, the peppers have just stood still they are quite big but they were quite big when I put them in they don't like the cold either so uh, just hope for some nice weather and this is my uh, potato leaf tomato which I told you about last time brandy wine that's doing well and the one that had accident if I can get round and have the top snapped off here we are it's got a new top grown from the original stem where it got snapped off and it's coming nicely this one's really taking off it's number 11 which um, I think it's a black cherry if I remember right without having to go and look um, and it's going to be go outside but it's massive compared to its two friends that got to put in at the same time but they're different varieties I don't know what varieties they are they're ones that lost lost labels this one is Gigantimo so I'm going to be quite interested to see what the um, tomatoes look like on that I'm getting distracted again as usual um, aha chocolate cherry vines number 11 and this is a chocolate cherry vine but the one that was a spear that's going outside is it bigger than the original one that I put in strange that but this is how tomato plants go some just go mad and others take a little bit longer notice we've put French marigolds in each pot of tomatoes as companion plants um, some of the insects don't like the smell of them but slugs love them for some strange reason um, you can see in this one there's one or two marigolds in each pot to help with the little wee beasties that crawl all over everywhere going back to the peppers we had a bit of the infestation and had to come in and spray but that one's looking a lot better on the new leaves you see the mess of the old leaves that um, the little thing that laid its eggs on it <laughs> and then the eggs edged out and ate all my pepper plant so uh, a few thoughts on the auto pot system I really like it it's the, it's economical on water as well because it's not getting down it's not been very hot but we've had a few sunshiny days since I put them in um, they're not using an awful lot of water which is very good so the economical on water uh, so if you're in um, an area that you have problems um, getting water like on an allotment or something and you've got no um, mains water supply it's uh, quite good um, these plants have been in probably a um, month to two months I've lost track of the date but I never actually wrote the date down that I put them in um, some of them went in uh, like at the beginning of April uh, I didn't get them all all put into the pots and all the system sorted out uh, in one go um, so I've just water I've just checked on the water and if I'll just uh, spin round and show you the I can tell where the water level is up to and you see that black band well the water that's where the water comes up to so where the black band is 
there's no no water um, so that's the all the water that they've used since I filled them up so that's not bad at all is it and I was just saying um, I was having to think how long it was since I put them all in um, and thought right they better I better put some food in so today the it's a 47 litre tank uh, and I've worked it out um, for the food because um, it was uh, 20 mil to a litre so um, with uh, I've, I've, I've not put any, I've not put the exact amount in because they're not quite full so I've put feed into that water so these because these plants will be starting to have used up most of the nutrients in the soil um, it don't take long because they're not in ever such big pots so and, and the water this water's not going down very much so um, when then it next needs to be filled up and more feed put in I will be putting um, tomato feed in for the tomatoes um, at the minute I'm just putting um, normal vegetable uh, feed which is um, more designed to get the leaves growing so you've got all the all the nutrients and everything you need to um, make them grow strong and strong leaves and then when I swap to the tomato feed that's for the fruit so uh, by the time that's gone down because the way it's going it's very slow unless we get some really hot weather it's going to uh, it's going to be an ideal system I quite like it oh, it's getting starting to get a little bit warm it's gone up to 20 in here now so uh, um, it's not even um, on not ever such a nice day it does it does get reasonably warm it's been staying in between 10 and 15 on the days where it's been raining all day so that's not too bad um, for everything the peppers would like it hotter but the tomatoes are happy at that but some of the tomatoes don't like it when it goes down too cold some it don't seem to affect it just depends what the variety is um, some varieties are perfectly happy um, for it to keep uh, dropping down occasionally to three or even down to naught uh, but there's one or two I think it's more the Romas um, do not like it when it goes down that cold and they tend to be very droopy um, so as long as it don't stay that cold night after night after night we, we we're going to be all right but it is stopping some of them from growing they just kind of be kind of be standing still and not to uh, get him much bigger so this is tunnel number two so we'll go and have a look see if it's warmed up in tunnel number two tunnel, can't talk straight this morning tunnel number one so we're in tunnel number two and it's 23 in here and uh, i could do it not wearing this jumper actually so this morning i came and gave gave the aubergines uh, some water and i put the um feed in which is a nitrogen high feed uh, to encourage leaf growth um oh, this is just getting a bit warm i'm losing the train of thought uh because they could do with actually going into the ground but their uh, the roots are just poking out the bottom of uh, the plant pots but i don't really want to pot them up because i want to get them in but the but the problem is where they are going there's something already there let me show you right. these are the aubergines so i've given them a good feed this this morning like i was just saying there's the odd pepper in here and an odd tomato plant that uh, was late starting and a rogue what i thought was a dahlia because it was out of the dahlia bed uh has turned out to be well I'm thinking a sunflower so that's got to find somewhere for that to go in right let me turn you around and show you 
what I was going to show you before I got distracted again. Beans, all my beans. Right. This is where the aubergines are going. Yeah. But what is here? Dahlias. So I'm in the process of getting them outside and uh, just hope that we don't have any more frost. So I'll just have to come out with some fleece and cover them if it's forecast frost. These are my last of my squash. Um, there is, uh, let me think, it's um, munchkin pumpkin in there to go with the other one. But just in case I'd put that one out too soon, I've saved the other one in here. And there is a courgette, the long, like trumpet type courgette uh, as well to go out. There's a couple of normal uh, yellow and green courgettes uh, over in the other corner with them tomatoes and stuff that are only little yet so all this oh the zinnias I've potted the zinnias up um, all this needs moving um, oh. Joe this is your tray of zinnias I mixed I put mixed the two I've got two different types so I, I mix them for you Right, over this side is my cucumbers. They're still wrapped up. I'm not unwrapping them. Um, this melon down here is not as happy. It is growing, but it's not happy. The ground is... I've not watered these since I put them in. Um, the ground, even though it looks dry here, when you start to go like this, it's very damp and starts to get really cold as you dig down that that feels cold and this is what why these cucumbers aren't and melons aren't happy so this is staying on they're doing all right i'll move i go to the other end and um take the fleece off and show you i'll just show you this this melon i never put in this is really doing well. See, just being this bit higher on this shelf and being in a pot makes all the difference when it goes cold. When it goes down to three in the night, that ground is getting really cold. And this is why I'm having trouble with these cucumbers. See, this end I don't think is quite as um, bad as the other end. But they're doing all right. This one's growing. This one's grown quite big. It's got little baby cucumbers on it. Um, that one's not too bad. Bottom leaf's still a bit yellow. Um, it's the last one. That's, it's that end that's the problem. That last one's not quite so happy. Um, this melon's not doing too bad. Because this one's been covered up a bit in, with two layers. And that one as well over there has been covered up with two layers it was that far end one that didn't get covered up one night i think it uh, must have blown so i'm going to just keep wrapping them up and they're doing all right with the fleece on them this uh, cardboard tube is just just stops the fleece from coming off more squash at the back but it's staying there it's not it's got a slightly broken stem it's called honey bear and i'm really upset and i went to move it to put it out with the others and the stem broke not completely off so i've propped it up and i've left it there and it's not droopy but i'm hoping the stem will mend or it will shoot up another another shoot from below the stem I don't know we'll see I don't know whether I can if I buried it if I buried it lower I mean higher than the break it might just rot so it's just sitting there and if it uh, dies it dies I think I've only got one honey bear and <laughs> I had to go and break it didn't I never mind here is the yellow courgette I've fed all these as well there's yellows and greens um I think this one's I think this one's a green but it's not doing overly well. Uh, 
This is this one's a sweet dumpling. It's a squash. Yeah, it's, a, it's been very slow coming. So uh, I think that's it in here for tunnel two, uh, tunnel one. Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting confused, aren't I? Tunnel one. Closer to the onions. That one looks like it's. Uh, whoops, my fingers in the way. Sorry. That one looks like it's bulbing up quite nicely. The carrots have been moved round here, so this is the place where they're going to stay. And uh, there's room a bit further up to get another four buckets. So I'm just going to put some more in. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's another four buckets should be enough. Well, I don't think I've got any room for any more than four buckets. Another four buckets. But uh, so that's it. It'll be eight buckets of carrots. That should be quite enough. Close up of my aquilegias while we're uh, here. That's looking pretty. So that's it for this little update on uh, my garden, and uh, just hope for some better weather next week because it's not really been very nice at all. Not only the cold and damp and rain. It, there's not much light, which don't help the plants. So. Uh, I've got dogs crying. Why is dogs crying? They all stood there looking at me and crying. It might be feed time. They always come out and tell me when, when it gets to about one, two o'clock. I always know when it's dinner time. Right, see you next time. You perch back, Badger. Have you? Yes. Oh, pigeons. I know. Nasty pigeons, aren't they? They upset you. Don't like them pigeons, do you? No. Don't like them pigeons. The day to come on your garden. Hey! Yeah, poor little... Poor little badger. Yeah. What are you doing on the bench? Hey? Is that your bench? She says, yes, I've decided this is my bench. Mum's moved it, so I have to investigate. You don't normally stand on the bench. What are you looking for? You're looking for birds as well. Say hello to everybody, Freya.